before starting the video i want to talk through this part with you guys um, in case you can't read that little note there on my spray bottle and so we'll be creating an all-purpose cleaner that i've been loving so much right now um so for this you'll be needing some water water cleaning vinegar or just vinegar but i would recommend you using distilled vinegar and you will also be needing some tea tree oil and um, essential oil so first things first we are going to insert our water of course um, and this is just how i like to measure it because unfortunately i do not have a measuring cup um, but this water bottle has helped me to measure and because it has like lines on the bottle so i just fill the water um up to the third line as well as the vinegar equal parts and then i'll be putting that into my spray bottle as well as my tea tree oil and with the tea tree oil you just want to put in 10 drops of that and then your essential oil if you go with an essential oil um you do not have to use it but it's optional and um, this is just to give it the aroma into your all-purpose cleaner um but so yeah so and then once we have all our all of our products in the spray bottle you want to shake this really well so it gets a mixture of everything and it is ready to use and you can use your all-purpose cleaner for um, your surfaces as well as just for uh, a room air freshener so i hope you guys enjoy and let's get started with the video hello everyone and welcome back to another video so in today's video i thought we can do something a little bit different and for sure something fun um so i stole this from grove collaborative on their instagram um, page they posted a um spell your name and clean i believe that's what it says i'll post the picture right above here um but so all it is is you're going to spell out your name and whatever your name is spelled out that is what you are going to clean so um, that's what we are going to be doing here so i hope you guys enjoy and stay tuned I don't know if it's just me but i feel like i'm when i'm ever i'm dealing with food i feel like i'm playing the game tetris um, because i'm lining them up and trying to make it fit and because if i don't organize or categorize them it's just gonna pile up and it's not gonna work um, but i want to just look into some containers maybe some bins or i'm not sure exactly but i do want to better organize this little small pantry that me and my family have i know it's a little bit small for some of you guys but this is what i have and this is what i work with um but so yeah so um now we're moving on with p which is disinfect handles as well as knobs and switches and i'm just gonna do this um as i go because i didn't want to confuse you um and be taking you to every part of my house cleaning knobs and things like that so yeah that's what we're going to be doing and um i'm just going to be using my all-purpose cleaner for this so yeah Before deep cleaning my refrigerator, I'm going to remove every single thing from in here and then just go back in with Mrs. Meyers Multi um, Surface Cleaner in scent basil. And then I'm going to spray this in here um, and then just let it sit for 30 seconds before I go back in and um, wipe anything down. Um, but I just wanted to say something real quick, which is I can't wait to try the new scent from mrs myers which is that fresh cut grass if you have tried it please let me know down in the comments 
if you are loving it or if it's just not your scent but I just I when I saw that I was so excited because when my husband or when CJ cuts the grass like I love that smell like fresh cut grass I don't know why I just I always take a deep big whiff of it and so uh, I can't wait to get my hands on the new scent from Mrs. Myers. Um, I'm actually might send Chris to Target to see if he can, if it's on stock at Target or I probably just get it online. I'm not sure, but I'm dying to try it. If you tried it, please let me know if you liked it or if it's just not your scent. What it is, does it really smell like cut grass, you know? Um, but so yeah, so I'm just going to deep clean in here and I'm just going to use my brush for this because um, as you guys can see, it has like really nasty junk um on the bottom of my refrigerator so i'm really happy that this was one of my things to do um to clean my refrigerator because once i opened it from the looks of it it looked clean but when i took everything out um i'm embarrassed to say but it was really disgusting underneath all that so um once i removed anything um any food that was expired or just wasn't no good anymore um, i'm going to put everything back in of course um, all the shelving and our good food and just pretty much get it ready for our weekly grocery shopping so yeah So my freezer wasn't dirty as usual but I still want to stick to what I was told to do so I'm just going to remove everything and just organize that and I actually liked it so kudos to Grove Collaborative for posting that. So now I'm going to um, use my multi-purpose cleaner and I'm going to spray this on my um, refrigerator and then I just like to set that for 30 seconds as well because um, this just lets the product work better and it works good on stainless steel so um, it gives it that shine as well as it's going to disinfect and um, clean your refrigerator so yeah and then we're going to um, go into cleaning our our door our switches our knobs and as well as the window so um, again I'm just going to use that multi-purpose cleaner on this and then just for the glass i'm just going to use a window cleaner from dollar tree i believe it was from dollar tree but um yeah that's all i had in in hand to clean my window um if you don't have um a window cleaner soap and water works just as great and actually um i think i prefer it that way because there's not, like no harsh chemicals or anything like that so yeah that's another way you can clean your windows if you do not have a window cleaner
so next I have to launder my pillows and blankets um, so for one of my pillows um, I did have one dirty one that was in the dirty clothes already because we spilled the drink on there um, so I just thought of mine as well wash both of my pillows that way they both can be clean um, so yeah so I'm going to put in my pillows that I had from my couch and I didn't have any dirty blankets yet um, but I always have dirty towels so I thought why not just put it in towels for right now um, so I'm just going to be doing pillows and towels and I think I use um, warm hot temperature for the water I normally like to wash my towels in warm water no I'm sorry in hot water um, and then this is my first time ever washing my pillows so I was kind of scared that they were gonna get flattened but when I took them out the washer I saw how fluffy they look so I was super excited um, and then couldn't wait for them to come out the dryer because I thought maybe they would come out even more fluffier so you'll see further on the video if they did or they didn't <laughs> So I thought I was recording and I wasn't, but um, so y'all guys didn't get to see me fold my towels, but I did fold them. I fold them on myself. Um, so yeah, now we're just going to place everything back in place and look at my pillows, you guys. They came out even more fluffier. I'm just so happy with them right now. Um, who knew that washing them and drying them was the trick to it? Because actually I was looking into buying some cotton to make them fluffier but I'm I think I might still do that for uh, my checker pillows um, I could probably still do it for the white pillows as well but for right now it's it works you know but um, I wouldn't just do yours for now I would just make sure that um, this is the recommendation for to wash and dry your pillows because not all pillows are the same because I know that by experience I've had some pillows in the past that I would wash and dry them and they would get so flattened so that's why I was scared of washing and drying these but um, I didn't have that with these so I'm really happy about that and um, so yeah so I just gonna fluffy my pillows put them in how I like them and um, we are done for this and then we're just gonna head over back to the kitchen and clean some windows All right, so we are close to the end of the video. We are on L, which I have to wash and clean the windows, but before doing so, I'm going to remove everything from here, which is the curtains and the blinds. And I didn't show in the video, which I should have when I was laundering the pillows and my towels. Instead of the towels, I should have put in the curtains, but like I told you in the beginning of the video, I'm cleaning as I go. I didn't want to confuse anyone, but um, so, after removing the blinds, I'm going to the restroom so I can get a better space on cleaning, deep cleaning my blinds. Um, and I'm just going to use a brush for that. And here you guys can see every disgusting thing on my window. So again, I'm so happy that this was another thing to do. Um, so I can like really deep clean this area because our table is right next to here. So that's kind of disgusting to think about that we are eating next to this or in, in even inhaling this. So, um, so happy that this was one of my chosen things to do. So, um, yeah. <laughs>
all right you guys so we've reached the end of the video so um once you are done deep cleaning your blinds you can put them back up as well as your clean curtains and i hope you guys um give this a shot and spell out your name and start cleaning because you guys will not regret it this was so much fun and it was just a pretty much must do um but so yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i love you guys i hope everyone is staying safe and i will see you guys super soon in a new video bye